What up, though? Iceman the foe. Talk that talk ghetto news weekend review. How y'all doing today, man? Just want to talk a few things, man. Talk about the hate train. Talk about a few things I didn't seen this week, man, that happened. Kind of lit, man, from last night. I'm just waking up. Get the people something to talk about, man. First of all, we're going to talk about this woman punching this horse. She punched the horse, man. She in the Olympics. Kim Rasner. She's a German coach. She hit the horse. I don't know what y'all think about that, but it happened. What else happened? The space program, NASA. They finna send people to um to Mars. But what they want to do is they want to take and put them in um a simulated Earth type thing for the time being. Mm, would you go? I wouldn't go. Mm, I don't think I can go. Mm. It's gonna be on Earth. They're gonna be. They, they make you stand there for a year too, for one year. So hey, if y'all think y'all can handle that, try that out, man. What else? Brandy. She got a daughter. The R&B singer Brandy. She got a daughter who was kind of um, pleasably plump, but she didn't lost some weight, man. Big shout out to her for losing that weight. Brandy daughter. Wait a minute, ain't that Brandy brother? Nah, that's Brandy daughter. The R&B singer. It's about the storm too, man. I hear the storm coming, man. Outside my crib, yeah. Beyonce. She did a video, man, and they talking about her buttocks inside of this video. They're saying it's not real. So it's not hers because she had other pictures of her butt. It just didn't look like her butt from the same, man. You know, people butts grow. Obviously, so Beyonce butt. I don't know, man. Kanye West, speaking of butts, he a butt or an ass. Some, they call him an ass sometimes. Um, he didn't um do the stunt they said he did at the Donda party, the Donda festivities when he was doing the, um showing his new album. He said he had a stunt, man, and I believe it because. That's kind of your way. You think he going to get to fall, levitate from the sky and fall and hurt himself? And he can't stop the bag, man. Oh, no, no. Let's check something else out. This woman right here. Ashley Babbitt. R.I.P. to her, man. Her family soon because they saying she was ambushed. And she was one of the um, Capitol rioters doing their thing, man, when they took over the lands and did their thing, so... Mm, let's get off that conversation. She soon, but she was there, so she, she got caught up in the game. Yeah, this dude right here, man, he's a pilot for American Airlines, man, and he said, "Look, y'all use my picture. And this is this is not me. I mean, that is him, but he said y'all made an ad for a picture right here, man, and they use his picture. The picture is him and his um, mama was sitting there kicking it, and they took and photoshopped the mama up out of there and used his picture for something." That they had nothing to do with him. I'd be kind of mad if they did that to me. If they put me for something like erectile dysfunction or something like that. And, hey, that ain't me. So that's what happened to him. OJ Simpson. He said he ain't going to LA. He's scared to be in LA because um the people who did what they did to Nicole Browns and um Ron Goldman. They still might be out there. He don't want to run into him. So he like, yo. I ain't going. Weekend review. Talk that talk. Ghetto news. Weekend review. What else? These dudes right here. Von Rush Booker. That's his name, man. These white dudes right here tried to allegedly um take him out the game and lynch him. And they suing him for this. This is the black dude right here. They suing the black dude for um assault and all that type stuff, man. Because they tried to take him out the game, so... That's how the um, government work, I believe, I guess. I don't know. Brinson. Lewis Brinson. Lewis Brinson is a baseball player who was playing baseball. He played for the Miami Marlins. And um, somebody allegedly said the N-word to him. Instead of the N-word, they said Dinger because this is the mascot named Dinger. You can see this man right here pointing up to him. Dinger! The, ding, the white dude said, uh, yo, I was not saying the N-word. I was saying Dinger. I was pointing up to him so he can come to me 
and take a picture with my grandson. You can literally see him doing that. I thought one of my kids was trying to come in. It's early, man. The kids walking around, so y'all might hear some kids come in. Big. Can you make me something? I just went to McDonald's. I got the, got the food for you already. I just went to McDonald's. Got them some what? Pancakes, sausages, all that stuff. This is in the morning, man. I'm doing this early. I'm up now. We had dinger instead of n word. Um, speaking of n word or dinger or ticker, this woman right here. She didn't want to see the um nobody holding the flag in their yard. Somebody had the flag in their yard of Tigger, and she went over there and knocked on the door. Hey, y'all got a Tigger over there, y'all, y'all, y'all should have the American flag. She did that, so hey. Self, don't come on my porch with no BS, yo. Speaking of BS, this woman right here named Lynn May, 69 years old. She is pregnant. She is with the child. By this dude right here, her 29 year old boyfriend. That's the story. What else? Black John Cena. Big shout out to Black John Cena, man. His name is Omega Muscles. This is his real name. He went viral for looking like John Cena. John Cena even posted it like, hey, you gotta look like me. Find your doppelganger. I wanna see y'all. Everybody in the comment section tell me y'all um y'all doppelganger for the other race though. Cause I want to know the white person I look like, or what white person look like me. Like me, you look like a white heist. It could be out there, so find him. This lady right here, man, named Claire Dunn, I think is her name, man. She is a singer of some sorts. She was uh, assaulted by this dude right here, who happens to be um an Uber driver. Got Uber, got Uber out the game, yo. And um, he attacked her and. Hey, sad situation. What's the name? Prince Andrew. Allegedly been on them planes with him. What's my man's name? Me and my man's in them, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Dang, I forgot the dude's name, man. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. He's on them planes and what's his name? Gislaine Maxwell and Epstein. He's on the Epstein planes with this little chick right here, man. It's bad look. Bad look. Mm -mm -mm. Speaking of bad look, eight years old, finna get the death penalty, maybe. He's been locked up for the death penalty. He allegedly urinated on a, a rug, a carpet over in Pakistan at a library. Somebody trashed the library and he went in there and did some stuff. Gotta cut my hair, man. Looking kind of looking kind of crazy right now. Oh, yeah, but he, he urinated on there. And they're trying to get him the death penalty. Eight years old. And that's mess you. They say he was buying some important books when he did that. He, he urinated. Mm, 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 what a story. Tashina Arnold. Pam. For Martin. She going through a divorce with this dude right here, man. They've been together about eight years. We don't know him. Um, We know her. We don't know him. That's in the news. She getting a divorce. I guess the love and wasn't real. What else I got in the news? Supermom, she wouldn't saved her son on the soccer field. You can't turn your back on the kids. Like it's like the ocean. You can't turn your back on the ocean, and you can't turn your back on your kids. You know, one split second, and, hey, and it, it happens to everybody. So you cannot really cue her or criticize her. But her her child did run on the soccer field and almost got trampled. But it didn't almost get trampled. But it could it could have been bad. But how I go down? She shout out there, did her thing, man. She protected her son. She was she had some ghosts, man. She she had some jets. She was out there getting it. So big shout out to her. Oh, I turn my light on. All right, what else? What else? What else? What else? These brothers right here, man. A father, a son, and a customer. They got handcuffed because they were trying to um provide for them for their family. They realtors. The black dude was a realtor. Him and his son was going to show a house to this brother right here, the other black dude. And nosy neighbor seen him and was like, hey, what y'all doing over here? Locked him up. They locked him up. They just put him in handcuffs. I heard that he did not have his realtor card on him. And I was like, yo, if I was in the neighborhood and I see somebody lurking around the properties around there, I'd say something too. 
it ain't a black and white thing, but it could be misconstrued that way. If you are in an all white neighborhood and a black dude come lurking around, he had regular clothes on too. I might, I mean, you don't you don't have to be. You gotta dress for the job you got, man. You can't. You know what I mean? You gotta look like you selling the house. Or maybe they's gonna do some work on it or something. But he was supposed to be showing the man the house. He ain't look like it. He in an all white neighborhood or a nice neighborhood. White people look out there and see a regular brother in some regular clothes. Call the law. I hope y'all do that to me too. If I see a white man walking around my neighborhood, I'm. What are you doing over there? Who you buy a dope from? Nah, I'm playing. I live in a mixed neighborhood. Got everybody live over there. All right, Robin. Mm. Robin came out as bisexual. The um, character Robin, Tim Drake, not Dick Grayson. But Rob, um, Tim Drake came out as bisexual. Sometimes he feel like a nut. Sometimes he don't. Um, to each his own. I really didn't like that they made him. Not him particularly, but I'm I'm not mad, but I didn't like that. They just didn't make a whole new character that was bisexual. Well, he had to change the character into something, but then life changes, people evolve, people turn into other stuff, so that's why I, I couldn't be on my soapbox and be like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Tim Drake, Robin, bisexual, sometimes feel like a nut, sometimes he do not. Oh, that was my Batman. That, that don't work. Lil Bootsy has something to say about it, too, and Lil Bootsy always got something to say about um gay people now. It seems like every time somebody gay coming out saying something about gay people, la da 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 da, da Boosie's the person to say something. Makes you kind of wonder, Boosie. Dog the Bounty Hunter. He, um, getting married again. Everybody love Beth. Everybody say, hey, man, it's too soon. But she passed away in 2019. It's 2021 20, right now. He had two years. He, he, he needs some love in his life, too. Let that man get married. Oh, Kelly Bundy. Christina Applegate, she has been diagnosed with MS. Big shout out to her, man. Everybody used to love her, man. She was one of the mwah, girls back in the days, man. Everybody wanted her, man. Probably still do. She's probably still a nice piece. Hold on, we'll see what she look like. Let's get a little closer. Man, she too skinny for me, man. You gotta get you a couple sandwiches on you, girl. Some steaks, and you might be better, but big shout out to her, man. Racist Rock. This is a rock over in the University of Wisconsin, Madison. Got a rock removed. They call it Racist Rock. I don't know why they call it Racist Rock, but when it was dedicated to the school, the whole Ku Klux Klan showed up and was clapping it out, man. I heard this is the last stone from, what do you call it? Thanos. This is the nigga stone. Thanos is coming back. Avengers 3. Black Power. I don't know, man. I cannot make jokes like that. Family Dollar quit. Said we quit. Bad company to work for. The whole staff walked out. Said we don't want to do this no more. That's a bad place, man. It happened in Nebraska. I don't know, know nothing else about this, man. But people say that um, I heard had a couple comments on the video I made about this, and they was like, "Yeah, man, Nebraska they, they they don't treat people right, man. It's all about the corn. It's all about the corn." So, Family Dollar, big shout out to y'all, man. Y'all need to get some work, man. I need to holler at some people, man. People want to work for y'all still. Somebody do. They, they since reopened, though. But the manager walked out first and only had, like, two people working there. And everybody else just said, man, we out of here. We out of here. We out of here. They couldn't do it. Jay Leno. I got in trouble for this story earlier this week, man. When I made this story earlier this week, I was like, man, there's got to be white privilege right here. Because he out there jumping in, in, in the plane. And everybody came for me in the comic section. You look at the video, man, the comic section. Oh, crucified me. I did not mean anything by saying that this is white privilege. But I did mean like, yo, man, you got to be rich to do some stuff like this. What's up, boy? You hungry? That's a McDonald's right here for you. I'm making a video. I'm gonna say nothing weird. Yeah, it's food in there. It's uh, McDonald's, pancakes, sausage, eggs, biscuits, syrup in there also, fork in there. I don't. Th usually, um, I don't think your sister want any um eggs. I'm sorry, y'all. So you can take the other one. There's two of them in there. One for you, one for her. I got kids, man. It's a hash brown. You good? Yeah. I love you. All right. Weirdo. Um, close my door, boy. There we go. 
like I was saying with this story right here with Jay Leno, I didn't mean anything about he got white privilege, but I'm like, yo, you got to be privileged to do that. Like the FFA, the FA, the FAA, I think I don't think they will allow people to literally be inside of a flying airplane and stick your head out the front of the um, the nose mechanism and wave your hand at the people who's doing it, who's um on the flight with you. When I say white privilege, I didn't mean by that I mean nothing by it, really, you know. But you got to be privileged to be able to do that, man. He, um, that is white privilege, though. I don't care what nobody say. It's white privilege, but it's not. It's rich privilege. Um, I don't think they're gonna let no um regular pe people do that, man. So you gotta have some money to do that. Um, it was kind of dangerous, man. I'm glad he made it with that chin. I am B Biakum. I think that's her name, man. We call her Blossom from back in the days. I'm old, man, so I know it's Blossom. Blossom played. I mean, she's gonna be the new host of Jeopardy. She's gonna be a co-host with Mike Richards. I don't know who Mike Richards is, um, but I know who she is, and I think this is, this is a good choice, man. She dope. She she has intelligence also. She's a um. A neuro neurolog oh, this shirt looks crazy. I don't like how I got my neck looking. She a neurological neurologist woman. She she got some um smarts. It could have been LeVar Burton that they said was gonna be on the um oh, this McDonald's um Sprite good. I hate plastic I mean not plastic straw paper straws, man. It's crazy, man. Y'all got to save the um, sea turtles or something. That's why they want everybody to drink out of paper straws. But, mm -mm. but yeah, she's going to be the new host of Jeopardy. Co-host. She's gonna be. It's going to be two hosts, her and Mike Richards. Big shout out to her, man. I'm a big Jeopardy fan. I was a big Alex Trebek fan, man. I love that man to death, yo. I'm a big fan of Jeopardy. I watch it all the time, man. Got to be knowledgeable. Got to know some stuff. What else happened? Future. Mm -mm -mm. Future is a rapper. He has... A lot of baby mamas like rappers do, and um, he was he, he texts this to his son. What did he text to his son? His son was like, "Yo, let me get some. I need some money." He said, "Tell your mama. Tell your mama what? Buy you some clothes." Then he said, "Your mama is a H O E." Mm mm mm. And the future said to his baby mama, "He gonna say he didn't say it to his baby mama. He said to his baby. He said it to his child. And leave your children out of it, man. If your mom, if you wanna diss the mama, diss the mama, but don't tell the child that your mama. Oh." Come on, man. You had to do that, bro. Mm -mm -mm. Peyton Manning going into the Hall of Fame. Everybody know that. But everybody was laughing at his bus. The Hall of Fame bus. Um, look how big the head is on this thing, man. Ugh. I ain't, I ain't come out right. Look how big the head is on that thing. Y'all know what I'm talking about, though, man. Look at this, man. This is fake, man. This is not the real one, but, hey. It's funny. He got a big head. Rick Flag. Rick Flag played in the Suicide Squad. This I forgot his real name. Don't know his real name. I ain't forget it. I don't know him. We played Rick Flag, but he's allegedly having indecencies with this lady right here, man. It's a black lady. Model. Um mm -mm -mm. Can't say it because, you know. But y'all know, man. He took something from her. Ooh, this woman right here, man. Her, ooh, I said Woo. Her name is Jesse Woo. Jessica yeah, Jesse Woo. Jesse Wu is on Wild and Out, the new show. I mean, she's on. She's a new cast member to the show. Wild. Is she new? I don't know. I ain't watch it, man. Last year, but she Jesse Wu. She play on Wild and Out, and she made a joke about Whitney Houston. She started singing, "If I Will Always Love You." Will always love you. It's a Dolly Parton song. Two people don't really know. I think is that Dolly Parton. I think it is Dolly Parton sang it first. But when she said, "I will always love you," she like oh, she said, "And I." I'm dead. Walked up the stage. Everybody said, hey, man, that's too soon. You can't be making it. But it's comedy, man. Is it too soon? No, it's not too soon. It ain't too late either. You can make any joke you want to make in comedy. Distasteful, yeah, but hey. It, it wasn't that bad. She just said the truth. I'm dead. And she was dead. The Rusty Crab. Viacom is suing. See, we went from Viacom to Viacom. VH1. But Viacom is suing this place right here, the Rusty Crab. It's a restaurant that opened up somewhere. And it looked just like SpongeBob's place. They be um, chilling out, man. The Krusty Krab, man. They suing them. Like, nah, bro. You can't just do that. You can't capitalize off of it. Like, this is blatantly. They, ain't, they just took the K off of it. The Rusty Crab. So, get y'all paper, man. Chet Hanks made a um, speech. 
or joke. He was like, yo, man, y'all need to go out and get the coke and shot. Y'all need to sight. I ain't about to get in that. Your mom and daddy had it, man. Your mom and daddy was like the first two people I ever heard have it, to tell you the truth. So, hey, you got to relax on that, man. Um, To each his own when it comes down to that back stuff, man. Because I don't talk about that. I'm just really thinking about this collar on my shirt, man. I'm so vain. All right. Kim, Eminem, wife, ex-wife, baby mama. She allegedly tried to take herself off the chessboard, man. Um, it's like, man, it's like 20 years too late. Like, everybody thought you'd been doing it. All them songs your husband making about you. Like, man, but she tried to take herself off, man. Something ain't right with her mental right now. So, y'all, pray for her, man. Pray for, um, <laughs> pray for Jada Kiss because... Um, obviously, um, or allegedly, Tyler, the creator, has a crush on him. And he said, hey, look, I'm going to get at you, player. And when he asked him, Jada Kiss said, ha-ha. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. I don't <laughs> Jamie Spears stepped down. I think this is his name. Jamie Spears. He stepped down from being the conservator. I don't really know that word. The conservator of Britney Spears, man. Let Britney get her money, man. Britney free, free Britney. Y'all know the story about that. I don't, but y'all do. So check that out. Gary Owen. He allegedly got jumped. Somebody put the beats on him, they say. We don't know if it's true. He's a comedian. He could be just playing or capping. So, I don't know. He might have got jumped. Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, my God. When I heard about this, this was funny. Ellen DeGeneres allegedly came at Judge Joe Brown's wife. Was trying to get at her, trying to get her meow, meow. Trying to eat the meow, trying to eat the taco. Well, I think I got a taco too. Ew, ooh, let me, let me play my toys now since y'all want to be uh, messing with me. Here we go. I heard it to the grapevine. Damn. Ooh, I heard it to the grapevine. That. Um, Ellen DeGeneres wanted to eat. Judge Joe Brown's wife's taco. I don't know, man. And after that, Freddy Cougar showed up and said, Surprise, bitch. Welcome to prime time or something. I don't know, man. What else toy I got over here? I got all kind of stuff over here, man. I got a soldier. I don't know. But that's what happened, man. Ellen DeGeneres was trying to yum, 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 yum. She was trying to eat her up. Eat her up, eat her up, eat her up. With them blue eyes. I don't know if it's true, but y'all know. Don Cheeto. Or Don Cheeto. Captain Cheeto, what we call him over here on this channel, man. He's Captain Cheeto. He um got not not got into it, man, but they had a little um a little thing, him and Kevin Hart, man. They did the show together, was doing the show and Kevin um Don Cheeto was explaining it like, yeah, I'm fifty six years old and right instantly Kevin Hart said, God damn. Just looked at him and Don Cheeto looking like What you mean, bro? 56. That was cold. Look, man, it just got kind of a little awkward. I don't know if it's true or not. It could be. It can't be. Like, Kevin Hart is shooting his show, um, The Real Housewives of Hollywood, coming back up. And this could be a skit for that because there's all kind of other things been going on around Kevin Hart. Like, what's my man's name? Nick Cannon sent him a llama. Then, Nick Cannon, then Kevin Hart put a billboard of Nick Cannon's phone number. Some y'all need a baby daddy, go to him. He got all the kids and put his real phone number on the billboard. And everybody think it's for the show. I don't think, um, I mean, if you look at this interview with Kevin Hart and him, you'd be like, man, that's kind of crazy, man. He was wild, man. Y'all check that out. Terry Crews said he don't bathe either. You shouldn't be bathing. He don't get sweaty. He don't bathe. That's because um, a lot of white people have been coming out. Hold on. Let me recant my statement. A lot of white celebrities and came out and saying they don't bathe as much. And I don't know, man. This is some weird stuff, man, because I'm married to a white woman who bathes daily. I can vouch for that. But every day I hear about a new white celebrity saying they don't bathe. It's like weak, weak, weak. And now this brother. Mm, bruh, we call him a bro. We can't even give him the whole brother. We go, this whole the. This whole bruh right here saying, um. Yeah, man, we don't do that. <laughs> then he started popping his titties. You know how he do with the pop, 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 pop. 
the little dance he be doing. Mm, mm, mm. He said, "Yeah, we don't take baths that much, man. We, I ain't sweating. Man, big as you is, man, you better wash that big thing on your neck right there, man. Look at that right there. I see it. that thing on his neck is musty. You need to wash that, bro. Wash it up. What else? Um, hey, MMA fighter Jordan Williams, man. Somebody try to um take his whip. Somebody try to house his whip. Um." Didn't go too good for him, man. He went up there and put the knees of justice into that dude, man. Do not try to steal nobody's car, man, because that is not the thing to do, man. Earn you some money, buy you a car. But if you're going to steal a car, don't steal it from nobody like this, man. An MMA fighter, he got a record. An MMA fighter. That means he got, say he 25 and 12. Yeah, or he say he 12 and 25. That means you fought that many times in between. That's a lot of fights. That's a lot of fights. Win or lose in the MMA setting. Don't be doing that, man, because that dude right there got his car back, man. So, hey. Mm, mm, mm. Jordan Williams, beat up people. Drake! R&B singer slash rapper, Drake. He dating this woman right here, man. Look at her. He dating this woman right here, man. And that's her son. Her son plays for um, UCLA, I think it is, or... or or he going to UCLA. He a basketball player, man. He went out and bought this little dude a necklace, man. Number 10. You got the little owl on the side for him. That's his. That's your stepdad. That's your, I mean, but. Is he have a nice mom? She's nice on the eyes. Can you can you imagine that, man? That being your mama. Mm, mm, mm. You hearing Drake coming through? You better be nice, man. I don't know, man. But he bought this boy a necklace that was in the news, man. And last but not least in the news, man, this woman right here, man, she was killed. She was accidentally shot by her um, toddler while she was on the Zoom call, handling her business at work, and her boyfriend had a gun over at the house, and the toddler got a hold of it, got at, got the mama while she was doing while she was at work. I don't know how it went down. I ain't see it. I'm sorry about that little reenactment, but. That's, that's gross, man. That's Man, it happened, man. You got to learn how to protect yourself, man. Protect your peoples. Protect your stuff, man. Put your stuff up, man. Don't let a toddler get to it, man. You know, this toddler going to go the rest of his life knowing that he took his mom off the chessboard, man. On accident, too. It's wild, man. Mm, mm, mm. Young woman. Off the, off the radar. Hmm. Well... It comes down to the conclusion of this, man. I didn't have fun doing this, man, for these few minutes. Oh, I ain't got nothing else to do. Had to give y'all the gift of heist, man. Hold on. That's why I got this Christmas hat on. To give y'all the gift of the heist, man. But... Y'all check me out every Friday. I go live on this channel, man. I go live on this channel every Friday, man. I have fun doing this stuff just like this, man. Having fun talking about the news, talking about all kind of other stuff, man. So, y'all check me out, man. I go live every Friday at 9. Hit the like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pippin' that I'm putting out. And thank you for messing with your boy. Heist man the foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Peace.